and put our focus on a big Times Now news break. A news break and an interview that has rattled many. Now, you would recall that the Parliamentary Affairs Minister, Kiran Rijiju, multiple times has said that we reached out to the opposition. We reached out to the opposition when it comes to the post of the Speaker. There was a larger consensus, but he blames the opposition for saying that this was a complete lie. He says that everyone was consulted, there was a larger consensus reached, and in spite of that, we saw utter pandemonium in the Sansad. This is his big exclusive with our group editor-in-chief, Navika Kumar. Listen in first up to what he said. This time, all alliance partners together, you are at 293. So obviously, some numbers yeah. have increased on the opposition bench. But that's not the point. The point is, is anybody going to concede? You are culture. You are saying that they didn't congratulate. How much of a heart you have seen? This will also be a question. We have seen a small heart. Tell me when you have seen a small heart. We invited them for the, uh, all the important ceremonies. All courtesies were extended. There's, there's nothing called, you know, uncultured behavior from our side. We went by the convention, tradition, and by the norms, which normally we practice okay, in the speaker's democracy. Speaker's position, uh, first battle in this government. Speaker's position, there was a face-off. There was obviously no numbers on the other side. But so you could was not required as avoidable. But you could have given them the deputy speaker. It's happened in no, the past. No, that approach was not correct. See, uh, as a matter of fact, I called up all the prominent opposition parties and uh, their leaders. I spoke to them personally. I Who visited did you them. Speak? Let's say from the, the Congress party. No, Congress party. I had a very long discussion with Malikarjun Kargeji. He is the Congress pa party president, and uh, we spent good amount of time talking about how we should work together for the country. What did he say to you? No, we had a very normal discussion. I mean, uh, there was no, no ill feeling. Of course, I did not go for any negotiation for a post. It was a courtesy meeting. Then I had, uh, I called up uh, Kote Kodal Suresh when he was still in his constituency that, please come to Delhi. You are a term MP. We would like to have you in the, uh, one of the panel members to give the oath. One of the senior members, uh, but you know, not, but not the pro tem speaker. It doesn't matter. A pro tem speaker is a uh, is a job which uh, is carried out by a panel, pro tem speaker and the other members. So I told him he was very happy. He thanked me over the phone that thank you so much. You are a good man. You called me and you have offered me this uh, particular position. Yes and. He, he was very happy. I told him, uh, my Prime Minister wants uh, the senior uh, MPs to take this responsibility and discharge the duties. Then I called up Sudip Bandopadeji. He was in uh, West Bengal. When he came here again, I met him personally. He was extremely happy that Prime Minister offered this kind of gestures to the opposition leaders. Then I, I spoke to uh, the other members, our party colleagues. So, you know, these are things uh, I feel uh, a, a place where we should not bring politics. This is a and uh, this when is, you this said is a and culture. they were happy. When did this feeling of happiness change? See, and Danica, how did you get? To I will that? not be able to uh, name any particular person who created uh, this kind of. Um, uh, ill feelings uh, amongst us, but Who I could sense I, uh, I could sense that after I spoke to all the leaders and they accepted over the phone, even T R Balu, he was he was still in Tamil Nadu, he was very happy. He came here again. I went with Boke and I greeted him, extremely happy. But on the evening of the day before the, the, the pro tem speaker was to be administered the oath by Honorable President, suddenly the news started coming out that the uh, India Alliance people will not be participating in the um, panel. Uh, panel. I felt slightly uh, bad and also um, I felt that it is uh, too much uh, to play politics in that kind of situation. Did you speak to Malikarjun Kharge or T.R. Balu on no, why they had changed their see, mind? There are some private 
tops. I don't want to put them in. But did you call them back? Yeah, I, I told them when I got this news. Then most of them they said, uh, "We are sorry. Uh, there's nothing against you or the thing, but it's the party's position. We got such kind of decisions uh, which were taken at the highest level." So you can very well. Uh, you are such a senior journalist. Rahul Gandhi. You can. You can. The Rahul Gandhi uh, factor. I don't want to take name. But, you don't, but the uh, world understands. <laughs> the RG factor came in. Uh, possibly, but I can say that I don't want to just name a person. But I was made to understand that the decision came from the top, and then everybody had to. But the top uh, should be Malika Arjun uh, Khadge. He is the president of the party. Well, uh, whoever may have done it, uh, it is unfortunate. <laughs> And there is a significant amount of politics, remember, that has broken out over that big Times Now interview because the Congress continues to maintain that all this is nothing but half-truth. They also allege that it is the opposition that has been targeted and heckled in the parliament. This is a lie. This is a lie. The way that the, this government again started functioning in third tenure, I don't think that it's going to learn any nation. Uh, later, when Rahul ji spoke, he was heckled, interrupted many times, and uh, opposition was given, treasury bench was given to make interruption. When uh, Modi ji was speaking, and uh, speak, deputy speaker and uh, 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 that vice president, Mr. Dankar, did not allow uh, opposition to counter it and uh, reply, uh, uh, reply what he was saying. सरकार धोखेबाज है ये संसद में लोकतंत्र नहीं स्थापित कर रही है परंपराओं का पालन नहीं कर रही है डिप्टी स्पीकर के चुनाव में इसीलिए डिप्टी स्पीकर हमेशा अपोजिशन में बैठता है उसकी चेयर वहीं होती है एलओपी के पास इसलिए कि हमेशा डिप्टी स्पीकर परंपरागत रूप से विपक्ष का होता है वो नहीं पालन कर रहे हैं जो वो कहते हैं या सदन में नहीं पालन करते so, निश्चित रूप से एक सशक्त विपक्ष हम जनता की आवाज को बंद नहीं होने देंगे सो यू जस्ट हर्ड द कांग्रेस द कांग्रेस सेज ऑल दिस इज नथिंग बट बमकम दीज आर लाइज बट व्हाट द बीजेपी हैज आल्सो डन नाउ इज दैट हैज स्टेप्ड अप इट्स एंटायर अटैक एंड दे कंटिन्यू टू रीटरेट दैट इट इज द ओपोजिशन टू बी ब्लेम्ड एंड द ओपोजिशन हैज फॉलोड द पैटर्न ऑफ डिस्ट्रप्शन द ओपोजिशन कैन नॉट श्रग ऑफ इट्स रिस्पांसिबिलिटी एंड पार्लियामेंट्री ड्यूटीज एंड ऑब्लिगेशंस by simply saying that the onus is on the government they have a role to play also in the smooth functioning of parliament and if they continue conducting themselves in the manner as we have seen in the reply to the motion of address of the honorable president of india in that then they will have to reflect whether this is the way they wish to conduct parliamentary democracy not allow the honorable prime minister to speak do sloganering chanting pick up a non existent issue because they could have very well given the manipur mp a time to speak from their quota which was they were entitled to they were supposed to so they can't find excuses to disrupt parliament and then put the responsibility on the government